What's good, everybody? What's good out there? How y'all doing? What's up, subscribers? Glad you guys can join me. I really do appreciate it. Well, this is Lockout Men. Mates the call. And um, I, of course, am Lockout Men. Now, you know, I've been getting a lot of feedback about, um, about my series. Some good, some bad, some, you know, some just want to troll on it. But all in all, you know, the series is it's a pretty good series for new drivers and veteran drivers alike that want to know, you know, want to know a little bit more information about the company or companies that they might be interested in uh, going into. Go, go, go. Let's do this. Hey, welcome back, y'all. What's good? What's good? Welcome back. I am home comfortably, right quick. Welcome to a home episode of Lockout Man Makes the Call. I debated heavily, 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 heavily. But anyway, I debated long and hard on posting this video. Because I, I said to myself when, when I made the call to this company, I was like, I was, I was interested because they, not only, not only this company that I called, but a lot of other companies advertise or post on Facebook. You know, they, 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 they pitch, they spill on a lot of social media outlets, Facebook being the biggest. You know, not only that, you get them, they, 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 they email you, they text you, all sorts of ways to get that potential driver interested in that company. And in this particular company, they, they, they had a whole Facebook spiel. I mean, they, it, it was like an all out blitz. You know, not only did I got it in my Facebook post, but I also got it in my messenger. I got it in my in my PM and my DM and my IM or whatever M you want to call it. I got it. This particular company that I'm about to make the call to is Black Hawk Transport Logistics. I'm gonna be honest. When I when I talked to the recruiter for this company, um it was kind of awkward, really. I was, you know, in a Q&A session about the position that they offered on, uh, on Facebook as well as the company as a whole. And, it, you know, it, it, was a, it, it was good. You know, it was good for a sense. But, like I said, it was, it was kind of awkward. What, was it like? Uh, was it like CRST call? Mm, not so much, you know, but, you know, I'm still going to give the recruiter that I talked to a lot of, you know, a lot of accolades. I mean, she tried to answer majority of the questions that I was, that I was asking. So kudos to her. Kudos to her. But a little bit background about Black Hawk Transportation. As per Facebook, as you can see, um, it's a lot. So the particular company or the particular lane that they're that they're offering is is a GPR, a Georgia Pacific Regional Van Dedicated Paper Products Account. Of course, it's no touch. Uh, they said that you're home every week. Uh, for your 34-hour reset, uh, your home for your 10-hour break, if you live near Magador. Magador? Magador. I'm not sure where Magador is. Thanks for joining me. Lockout Man makes the call. I'm making the call to Blackhawk Transport. 
as you guys will probably see in the video, I already messed up and I called it Black Horse Transport. But let's get into the video. Let's see what Black Hawk Transportation is all about. I'll transport this Christina. Hey, Christina, how you doing? I'm doing great, how are you doing? I am fine, thank you, thank you. And I'm just calling to see if I can get a little bit more information about, uh, what is it, Black Horse? Transportation. Black Hawk. Oh, Black Hawk. Okay. Yeah, this is Black Hawk. My my bad. I know there's one called Black Horse, right? Yeah, I think there is. <laughs> all right, all right. So I got some questions that I like to ask, and hopefully you can uh, answer them for me. Uh, I came across the information across my Facebook page. You guys uh -huh. are, you guys are offering a position that's run regional at sixty at sixty cent CPM. Yes, I, I like to know a little bit about that and maybe a little bit more general about the uh, about the company. Let me start off by asking: You guys sponsor for uh, CDL training? No, we don't. What are your higher areas? Um, we hire throughout. The, we have um, accounts throughout the United States. For this particular account that you guys is uh, is offering on the Facebook page, is there uh, a particular area that you have to live in in order to run that account, or can I come from any? Um, it's out of Mogador, so if you don't mind driving, it looks like it's um, about, what, 56 minutes um, from Cleveland? Because that's where it'd be dispatched out of. That one is a regional account, so you're out five to five and a half days per week, primarily Monday through Friday, um, Saturdays as needed. Uh, the dedicated run start uh, starts in Magador, like I said, and you deliver to various locations, both regionally and local. Um, driver deliveries are typically live on load, no assist, with some drop and hook. It's um, usually 50% drop and hook and 50% live on load. Where's the main terminal located, or where's your terminals located at? We have um, various terminals. Our corporate office is out of Beloit, Wisconsin. Is there is there a sign-on bonus or tuition reimbursement? Uh, we don't do tuition reimbursement. Um, sign-on bonus for this account. Let me see. It's three thousand for this account for that one. So, mm -hmm. what's the sign-on bonus for generally? It depends on which account it is. For pre-employment uh, tests, do they do hair follicle tests? Um, I'm not sure. I'd have to verify that. What's your policy on drivers with felonies? It depends on every account is different. There's some accounts that require um, no uh, no felonies, and there's some that it's okay. Where's the orientation held? The uh, corporate office in Boyd, Wisconsin. Is the orientation paid for, and for how long? Uh, we use Monday as our travel day. Orientation runs Tuesday, Wednesday, half a day, Thursday. Are we paid during the orientation? Um, ten dollars an hour. If I'm disqualified or decide to not take the position or leave for any reason, will it be my responsibility to make my way back home? Um, what do you mean? Like once you get here? Yeah, like you know, I'm like you guys will bring me there. But will you guys will you guys get me back home if I get disqualified or I should leave for any reason? Oh yeah, it can still fly you back home. So to get to the orientation, you guys will fly. You. Um, yep. Yeah. You have to have experience coming into working for this company. You need to have two years of recent CDL. What's the starting? Well, you already mentioned the starting CPM for the one account, which is sixty cent uh, per mile. What's the starting mm -hmm. CPM generally for an average account? Um, it depends on which um account. We would put you on, or you would, you know, which one you would want. Well, let's say I want to go over the road. So what would my what would my starting CPM would be for that? Forty one cents. All right. Do you guys offer driver advan uh, advances once we hired on? Um. What do you mean? Advances. So like, if I want to take an advance out on my paycheck, I'm able to do that. Um. Cool. I've never been asked that before. I'd have to verify that. What's the pay period there? Weekly. Um, Friday. How often does the pay increase? Do? Um, I think that would depend on each account as well. Per diem, is it offered and is it mandatory? I'd have to verify that. Do you guys offer vacation and holiday pay? Yes, we do. How about breakdown pay and uh, detention pay? Um, I think it's based on each account as well. 
How often how often do uh layovers happen and are they paid for? I don't believe we have lay layovers. Well, our accounts are all dedicated to usually your um, dropping and then picking up right away. How about multiple stop pay? So like intermediate stop pay? Yeah, something like that. Um, yep, depending on which account. It's different amounts. Home time. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, you're good, you're good. Home time. How much notice for home time for specific days off? Um, you'd have to go over the, that with the account manager. If I take too many days off, will I lose the truck? And what's the maximum mm, for days off? I believe if they're, if they're approved, you won't lose the day. What do you mean, like call in? Or? Uh, no, let's say if I go for, this goes back to the home time. So let's say if I decide to go home for, say, like five days. So... Five, within five days, would I lose? Would I lose the truck? No, I mean if they're approved, if they're approved, you shouldn't have an issue. You guys do a an agility test. Um, what does that consist of? Agility test is for drivers that's that's coming in, and you know you guys test them for a duck walk up under the trailer to see if they can get in and out. They have to carry some type of weights or something like that. Like a physical? We do our own physical here. Do you guys require a hazmat? And if so, how much we get paid for that? Uh, de that depends on which account you're on. Every, um, I believe the one that you're inquiring about doesn't require it. What benefits do you guys offer? Um, we offer medical, dental, vision, life insurance, um, and 401k. So working at the company, what what's the average miles I can get? Um, that would depend on, that it would depend on which account you're on as well. For the one that you're crying about, it's average miles are 2,300. So that particular account, uh, that's not, that's not a run hard type account then, pretty much. What does that mean? Running hard, you know, driving, getting about twenty five to 3,000 miles a week. I can't, I, I can't do that with this particular account right here that, that you guys is offering on Facebook. Um, well, if you want more miles, they usually will, the account manager will work with you. You know, that's just the average. We do have people that hit less and we have people that hit more. That's really up to you how much you want to be out. Are all miles paid for? Uh, yes. And how's the miles calculated? We use people net. What's the policy on idling? Um, uh, hmm, I'm not sure. I have to, I think, um, the account manager would have to uh, go over that with you. You guys reimburse for scales and toes? Um, that's something the account manager would have to go over as well. Is there slip seating in the company? Yes. What's the driver turnover? I'm not, I don't know, I don't have those statistics. What's the pet and rider policy? We do, we're pet friendly and rider friendly is there forced dispatch to new york city or california i'm not sure well how about that guys how about that blackhawk transportation or transport and logistics let me give you a little breakdown a little bit more breakdown on uh blackhawk transport the position that they're sending out over to facebook is a position to drive only nights now it's good that this particular region route it pays 60 cent a mile all right you only get she says you only get with that particular route you only get like 2200 2200 or 25 but at 60 cent per mile that's still good money I mean, you know, it's still a, it's still an interesting company to call and find out a little bit more. Oh, so, that's it. That's it for this episode, you guys. After I post this, it'll be after Thanksgiving. So, you guys have a post Thanksgiving. Have a good post Thanksgiving. Make sure you eat everything and happy holidays to you guys. All right. Make sure y'all stay safe out there. And if you guys have any questions that you want to give to me, leave it in the comments below, and I will most certainly ask them. If you guys have any places you guys want me to call, leave that in the comments below as well. Also, what do you think of the call? What do you think of this call? I mean, if you guys work for Blackhawk, 
Leave, you know, if you're a work for Black Hawk, let us know your experience with Black Hawk. Put that in the comments below. All right, until then, until next time, you guys have a great, safe holiday season.